good morning or good afternoon student. Welcome to ACSP Online Education in Computer Subject for Primary 3 students. First, I would like to introduce your teacher. For the P3 computer teachers, there are three main computer teachers. First, Master Chanon Pon Chai Pepe. Next, Miss Janya Buller, and foreign teacher, Master Jago Bogdan Mirel or Master JJ. So, we will instruct all of you in this clinic here. Yeah. For the primary three, I know you study about the computer from primary one and primary two already. In this lesson, I just review about introduction to computer. We will instruct you step by step from easy to hard lesson or topic. But you have to pay attention to the lesson carefully. Are you ready? Let's start the lesson. Introduction to the computer. If you talk about the computer, the computer is a wonderful gift of modern world to us. It has made our life much easier and faster. Let's just explore this magical world of computers and learn more about it. What is computer? If you talk about a computer, you have to know what is computer. Computer is an electronic machine. It is made up of many devices. These devices perform different tasks and help in completing the work given to the computer. So, the keyword that I underline, electronic machine, made up of many devices, perform different tasks. Okay, don't forget it. So, computer is an amazing machine that can do different types of work. Can you tell me? What types of work that computer can do? What is computer? You can play games, write letter, or email, or send message, draw pictures, listen to music, check spellings, do calculation, do homework. And many many types of work you can do by the computer. On a computer, it can store a lot of information. Like you have the folder in your computer. You can save any file to the computer. You can create a folder in the computer. You might have seen computers at many places. They are used almost everywhere in today's world. You can see the computer at many places. For example, at home, get in school, at the office, in shops, in banks, as hospital, in hotel, or in designing. All of it, let's say, the application of computer. So, now we talk about the applications of computer. First one, computers use at home. You can use the computer at home for listening to music, for watching movies, for playing games. And really important for you helps in doing homework second computers in school you can use a computer into in school to solve problems write letters write story write the report and do homework and in every week you will use the computer in the computer lab and you can use the computer in library 
keeping records of books, helps in teaching and finding information. Keeping records of students and teacher and worker. Making timetable, preparing results or reporting your grade or bringing your grade to your parents. Or at the office, using for typing and printing letters or documents. Keeping records of persons working in an office, sending email, maintaining accounts, or printing bills. The third one, computer use in hospital. Use for x-ray, eye checkup, CT scan, scan your brain, scan your bone, maintaining patient's record, or keeping records of patient. Records of doctor, records of nurse. Knowing more about disease, their cause and remedies. Preparing medical reports or making bills when you will go home or you get better. The fourth one computers in department store for keeping stock records. Or making bills or printing bill when you buy some product or some goods or some items and keeping record of item the fifth one computer at railway station and airport use the computer for giving information about arrival and departure Or for booking tickets. Next, computer in banks. We use the computer in bank for handling money transaction, withdrawing money from ATM. But you can tell your PIN to any people. Keeping record of our money in the bank. Next, number seven. Computer use in the internet or for the internet. If you talk about the internet, the internet connects millions of computers together. We will talk about the internet later or next lesson. Using use computer for internet for sharing information. For example, sharing in line, in Facebook, in IG, in social media, for getting letter news. You can read the news or you can listen the news from the internet. For sending an email or sending SMS, chat message or inbox, something like that. The computer has become an essential part of our life. They are still being used almost everywhere. So, that are the application of computer. So, now we talk about more, compu more about computers. Student, you might have seen computers at various places. You will be surprised about what make computer so special? Let's have a look at its special features. The first one, computer works very fast. It can solve your problem in fraction of a second by using the computer if you put the correct data. Okay, so next. Second one, not even this, it can work for hours without getting bored or getting tired. So, it is a perfect machine. Wow, surprise. And you know, what is the fastest computer? Okay, I will tell you.
the supercomputer is the fattest computer. Okay, the third one. Computer always gives accurate answers, no matter how difficult your question is. Computer can answer in every question. Okay, but you have to put the correct data also. Wow, what a wonderful machine. Next, computer has a big capacity to store your work. Big capacity to store your work. Don't bother and keep working on it. It can store telephone number, your father, your mother, files, your file, your drawing, your favorite picture, or your favorite movie, or your favorite music. So we will talk about the capacity later in next next lesson. Capacity to store and information is called computer's memory okay and then to store to store is to keep to collect to save or to save and about the capacity okay so no worry about that we will learn in the next lesson so what we learn today what we learn today this lesson or this topic is very easy for you. Very easy for you. I think majority of you can answer the question that I will ask you later. So now, what we learned today about the computer. So today, the computer works very really fast computer works for our without getting tired computer always gives a correct answer computer has a big capacity to store and computer can perform different types of job or do many many jobs Computer can perform different types of jobs efficiently, like playing music, editing pictures, performing calculation, and so on. Okay, so let's go to the exercise. Now, you already know that a computer is a smart machine. It can perform several activities with great accuracy. You have already learned that computer is made out of different parts so you will answer the question in this exercise very easy for you but this exercise you have to answer by yourself do not cheating or do not ask your parents okay so let's start now exercise number one say yes or no the statement give below. Say, say louder by yourself. Okay. Let's say, computer can dance. Ding 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 ding. Computer can dance. Yes or no. Yes or no. Good. No, computer cannot dance. But human being can dance like you. Okay. And you like dance. Ah, okay, so next, letter B. Computer helps you to write letter, story, and do your homework. Yes or no? Yes, sure. Computer can, can help you to do many things. Okay, next, letter D. Computer can think like a human being. Yes or no? No. Cannot think like a human being because computer is a machine. Really good that you can answer the question correct. Next, let's hear the dog. Computer can remember a lot of things. Yes or 
No. A lot of things. Computer can remember. Sure. The computer can store a lot of things. A lot of data or information. And it depends on your memory unit. Ah, memory unit capacity. You will learn in the next lesson. Okay, so next number two. Say yes or no again. For the work done by computer. Work done by computer. Let's say eh, computer can work day and night without getting bored. Yes or no. Yes or no? Say yes or no. Yes, the computer can work all day or night. And, and, you have to prepare the battery and electricity. Okay, so, next letter B. Computer always give correct answer. Yes or no. Yes or no. Computer always give correct answer. Yes, computer gives you an accurate answer. Correct or not? Okay, next, let me see. Computer can forget your friend's telephone number and address. Yes or no? Answer by yourself. Say yes or no, louder, louder, yes or no. No, computer can store. Or save your phone number. Can save your phone number. Store. Save. Save at. Collect. Keep. Okay. So next. Let's study. Computer works very really slowly, like a turtle, one hundred years ago. Yes or no? Computer works very really slowly. Say yes or no, please. No, computer work really fast. Okay, computer work really fast. Okay, so I think all of you or majority of you can answer the exercise. There are eight items to question, eight items. So from A to D, from A to D, eight items. I think. Very easy for you. That I told you already. We will start from the easy one to the hard or harder later. Okay? No worry about that about this subject. Do you have any question? Do you have any question? I told you from the first slide. Please pay attention to the lesson carefully. Do not miss anything okay so if you have any question you can ask the teacher in the live group in the live computer primary three okay so thank you and then see you in the next lesson okay goodbye